This third example is of pasting the exact same text again into the word processing interface for Grammarly, a tool that you looked at earlier and a tool that you will be looking at again as part of this lecture and this week. Um, what you can see here is Grammarly also identifies several possible mistakes when, when I type this into the the application here. Um, it actually provides suggestions for how to remedy the mistakes, how to fix the mistakes. So uh, the first example here is I find that there was difficulty for me to fit into. Um, they indicate that it should be a difficulty or the difficulty. Um, it also identifies um, uh, enumeration here where um, in the second paragraph it says, meanwhile the teachers taught us some skills about time management weekly plan, and monthly plan. So it indicates that after that, that second plan here, um, it should be a comma. Um, it does identify that homeworks is a mistake. It should be homework. And it also gives you the correct version of the word begin, uh, which should be began in the be at the beginning of the third paragraph here. Now, Something to point out here, this Grammarly version that I'm using is the free one. So it only checks some of the more basic mistakes here. It does indicate that, there, that it found five advanced issues. However, in order to see the advanced issues, um, we have to upgrade to a paid-for version. And for the purpose of this course, you know, I don't feel this is necessary. Uh, so have a look at this. Um, you will be able to review Grammarly, Google Docs, or whichever word processing application you're using as part of this, uh, this week. And um, we'll continue uh, with that. After having looked at three word processing applications and the kind of grammar feedback they provide, uh, I think it becomes obvious that when you look at teacher comments, and in this case I just provided feedback as I would have done to a, to a, to a student writing this type of uh, essay. Um, so I inserted teacher comments here using uh, Microsoft Word's commenting feature. And as you can see, um, I did not do all three paragraphs. I started with the first two paragraphs. And um, I provided quite a bit of feedback um, that would help the students improve their writing. Now, very little of what I as a teacher am focusing on in terms of grammar, also, but also in terms of organization, was really caught by word processing applications or the grammar checkers embedded in word processing applications. So we're looking at a very different um, kettle of fish here. Okay, This is, this is quite different. Um, it's important to realize that uh, no matter how many of these mistakes uh, grammar checkers are able to identify. Um, there is always need for a teacher to go in and indicate uh, that th there are mistakes here. Uh, if you just look at this first example, um, it says, uh, the student writes, after the first month of university study, I find that there was difficulty for me to fit into the study life Okay, in the US. Again, we know what the person wants to say, um, but you know, I would say something different. I would say, you know, it was difficult for me to adjust to life as a student in the U.S. So those are all kinds of, uh, the kind of feedback that really automated systems provide or cannot provide uh, there here. Okay, so have a look at my feedback and then, you know, you will really see that the feedback that teachers provide uh, is invaluable and it can be augmented by grammar feedback, of course, but Teachers have a, uh, an important role to play.